<laughs> Let's get into some anime. <laughs> yes, sir. Did you use skip button to fast forward through text you already heard? Oh yeah, we were making a we were making a poem. Uh oh. Wait, what's this, right. what's skip button? Uh, that's for like when you replay the game. It like it basically skips dialogue that you've already seen. So oh. if you're playing this game a second time, then it just skipped the entirety of it. Uh. Uh. All right. We're still going for the purple-haired chick, right? Yeah. All right, all right. Um, let's do essence, maybe. <laughs> there we go. Vitality. Electricity. Got to do like big words. Um, maybe. Yeah, try determination. B. Hey. Adventure, yeah. Oh, fuck. Uh, ex existence. Hey. Uh, ambient. Hey. Unending, or philosophy. Hey. Uh, secretive. Frightening. Um. Scars or horror. Hey. Contamination. <laughs> uh. <laughs> capable. <laughs> the fuck, Papa. <laughs> um. Landscape. Okay. Okay. Damn, son. Uh, disaster. Whirlwind? Or, no, Tenacious. Okay. That hey, works. that worked. Melancholy. Melancholy. Oh. <laughs> Melancholy? <laughs> anyways, anyways, anyways. Have you been saying Melancholy your whole life? <clears throat> um, what's next? Um. Anxiety. Massacre. Massacre. And Fantasy. <laughs> um. Disown. Let's go. Sir. Another day right. passes. And it's time for the club meeting already. Bounce is a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. <laughs> Hi, Miguel. <laughs> Yo, Sayura. Looks like you're in a good mood today. Uh oh, your stream's <laughs> lagging. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, um. Oh. <laughs> you already did it, so I should. You did that part. <laughs> I'm still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But, I guess it's always the simple things with you, anyway. It looks like it's okay now. Speaking of which... I'm kinda hungry. Damn, I should probably move my camera. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No! Thanks, hold on, let me... Let me adjust my camera. Mm -hmm. Put that there... Boom. No thanks. Eh? <laughs> That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse? Say you're raw. Say you're raw. Eh? Why that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Uh... Sayura nervously retrieves her coin purse. Hey, you said her name wrong. It's a boo boo boo. Oh, she, she fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets it, its contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. Damn, broke chick. Damn. 
She richer than me. <laughs> mm hmm. I can see you right through you, Sayobura. <laughs> That's not fair. Ooh, woo. My fault. <laughs> <laughs> How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry, or wanted an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money, so, they w so, I <clears throat> so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so, that only leaves the one option. What? <laughs> I give up. <laughs> Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. You deserve to be punished. Ha ha ha. Hey, yo! This is my Yuri. Yuri, I mean, yummy. Yeah, yummy. yummy. Suddenly giggles. Huh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book as always. Uh, uh. I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri? Tell Miguel to let me borrow some money. Damn, son. <laughs> That's. Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Smack <laughs> your bitch ass. Besides, <laughs> should only buy what you can res responsibly afford. Damn, broke bitch. <laughs> Frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, you're suffering is fair enough retribution. Ah, oh. uh, I just. Hey, okay, okay, okay. I didn't mean that. Okay, 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 okay. I got too absorbed in my book. Nah, baby, let, let the freak out. <laughs> oh, just you wait. <laughs> 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 I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. Er, oh, yummy. man. My fault, my she fault. She is mine. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. Thanks. No way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution. <laughs> that. Boy, she's the one that was losing her shit earlier, right? Which one? Uh, bow tie red. <laughs> they she... both have red bow ties. <laughs> oh, on her hair head. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Um, wasn't she like no. going crazy? Wasn't no. she throwing a fit? No, that was another girl. The uh -huh. little chick, the pink hair. Oh, uh -huh. still coming from you, Abba <laughs> I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? Hmm. He <laughs> he. Don't let her fool you. Everybody knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But... You wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. This one? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, dude, you're down- uh, are you down to watch the Sidemen thing? Uh, yeah. Hey, let's go. While playing a game? Power wash? I'm down. I bet. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on. Give me more credit. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Give me more credit than that. Sarubla. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Plop. Kya. <laughs> Out of nowhere, something smacks Blue in the face and trumbles, tumbles onto the dust. Hey! Ow! What was... Eh? 
a, a cookie. <laughs> what? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Ooh, dude, have you ever been to circ uh, fairs and the people sell like giant cookies? Yeah. Like freshly baked cookies? Yeah, those shits oh, are good. Those are scrumptious. Lula, glance around. Uh, is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution. Retribution. Retribution. Oh. Actually, that one almost worked. Ah, shit. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, so it's probably her. <laughs> I was just gonna give it to you. <laughs> then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. Yeah. <laughs> it was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. Ha <laughs> ha. Natsuki. That's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Well, hugs the cookie. Jeez, <laughs> just eat it. <laughs> hey, yo! <laughs> uh, sort of that rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. <laughs> so good. Oof. Lula <laughs> suddenly clasped her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. <laughs> You're going through a lot of just one cookie. Give <laughs> that fucking a voice. <laughs> uh, Nasuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, your looks, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah. Why do you think I gave you that one? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Did you see your chat? Oh yeah. I'm an innocent soul playing DDLC for the first time. <laughs> He's warning you right now. <laughs> uh oh. It's not gonna be bad. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> Dude, I, I'm I'm like really really tempted to see like what what what's the crazy shit? Cause come on, I mean, okay, if we're being real, none of this shit. <laughs> I just read your chat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's Carl from the Minority House. <laughs> uh, there we can skip a little bit, but I mean. That would ruin the fun. No, no, let's get the lore. Let's get the lore. You want to skip the lore? Let's get the lore. All right, we could we could skip a little bit. No, no, no let, let's get the lore. Let's get the lore. Come on. You want to get the lore? Uh huh. You're gonna have to skip. Bluro gets out of her seat and goes behind Nasuki, <laughs> that wraps her arms around her. I mean, you can skip if you want. No, no, like, no, 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 no. You want to fight through it? Yeah. Okay. It would make sense. Aw, oh, jeez. Hey, oh. <laughs> I get it, I get it. What does she get? <laughs> Cookie stone hand. Nasuki reaches up to nod. Blew out off of her. Um. Blah, suddenly leans down and takes it <laughs> by out of Nasuki's. <laughs> Dude, this is gonna be a fucking hentai. <laughs> <laughs> Picky. <laughs> they should hire us. <laughs> hey. Did you seriously just do that? <laughs> Mouthful of Blura trots away to safety. L Yummy and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori? <laughs> Dude, just imagine you're in school, a chick like this pulls up, and that's her <laughs> voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh. Asuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Ugh. 
Where's Monica anyway? <laughs> Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She's probably just had something to do today. <laughs> she's pretty popular after all. <laughs> uh? You didn't- you don't think she... She has a... <gasps> uh, <laughs> wait, wrong boy. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. Huh? Hehe, <laughs> that's true. Excuse me. Wait... Um... Uh, crazy shit doesn't happen for a while. It took my- it took me five hours. How long? Are, how how far away are we? You're approximately. Um, trying to think. Hold up. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be around that chick if her voice was very, very, very deep. Because <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what we could do. So. What's up? Uh, the parts where you think we could skip, we could do that. Okay. I think right now... We're on... Hold up. Um... Can we finish that? Do you remember when um, I barely hit 4K on YouTube? Yeah, you're already about to hit 5K, I've noticed. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking wall. Growth is fucking... Wait, bad. he's on day one? I think I think he's on day two or day three. No, yeah, he's on... I think he's on day two. Okay. I think... Wait, no. We passed the argument with the, the purple hair chicken... Or yummy and Natsuki, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Apparently that's day two. Oh. Okay. But I don't think it's <laughs> Oh, okay. Um <laughs> Let me see. Because I'm not gonna lie, I'm not trying to you know. <laughs> yeah. As long um, as it's fun, you know, but... Yeah. Like in uh, the anime shows that you're talking about, that filler, you know? Okay, yeah, we could... I, I'm not sure when it gets to the good stuff, but we can, like... We can skip the parts that aren't important. Okay. And that's, like... <laughs> I'm not gonna lie... A lot. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, there, there's a lot of, like, side shit of just, you know, the characters, like bonding and stuff but oh, okay right. that, that's about it okay <clears throat> suddenly the door swings open uh <laughs> um, what voice do i do i forgot what was the voice <laughs> sorry i'm super sorry <laughs> clipping putting in this word no! <laughs> <laughs> ah there you are I didn't mean to be late. <laughs> Imagine, dude, your parents walk in without you noticing and you're just talking. They're not fucking here, bro. They're out of country right now. Uh, okay. <laughs> There's no to come in. Okay. I'm good. <laughs> I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. <laughs> eh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. Okay. Uh. B boyfriend <laughs> What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Ah, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Ah. Uh. 
Well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> that makes no sense, though. <laughs> you would have heard the bell ring at least. <laughs> dude, dude, dude. Like, like, look, if, if, if we're drinking this shit, I'd be fucking <laughs> dying. <laughs> Pull out the alcohol, come on. Oh, no, no. I've been taking medicine, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. That part's important. Remember that. Okay. Piano. I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Uh, I, I don't really. I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. Okay, okay, piano player. That's so cool. You should s play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. I would also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case... I won't let you down, Miguel. Monaco smiles sweetly. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't... I didn't... I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Ahaha, <laughs> don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. Yeah, okay. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, it's not really. I chose okay, to you leave. Can, uh, you can you can skip a little bit here if you want. <laughs> Bro, did not hesitate. <laughs> Even here? Uh, yeah. Pretty sure <laughs> what you're skipping through now is, uh. Your character asking Yummy if uh, they want to read again, and she basically says she's going to go prepare tea. Oh, okay. You, you saw that that we just skipped? That's 30 oh, minutes. Oh, no, dude, I... <laughs> yeah. <Yep. laughs> uh, this table order. Yeah. Uh, I say just keep going until we share poems. Okay. <laughs> and then skip even more. Monica Play Piano Man by Billy Joe? <laughs> <laughs> That's a fire ass song. Yeah. What do you think of the soundtrack? It's actually cool. Yeah. Da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. If I was a piano player, I would definitely love to play that. Well, get ready, because <laughs> once we're finished with the game, you won't be able to hear it the same. <laughs> okay. You could uh, skip here. Oh, that's a fire artwork. Yeah. Jesus Christ, that is uh at this point is next week. Next oh Okay. Um So pick everyone, but leave Monica for last. And then skip? And then just, yeah, just skip through it. Unless you want to read the poems. Because, I mean, some of them are kind of interesting. Hmm. Damn. Yeah, this one's interesting, too. <laughs> Realistically speaking, if we play at this pace, we could probably finish the game tonight. Okay. Miro, I popped my pussy. Oh, oh, oh. Pop <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> I pop off my scalp like the little a cookie shoe. Okay, okay. It's <laughs> gonna leave that there. <laughs> um, anyways. Oh god. Alright, yeah, show uh, Natsuki next. Oh god. Uh, I'll just wait till the end of the game and then you'll hear the best OST this game has to offer. Oh, yeah. Alright, uh, do you want to read Yuri since we're going for her? Oh, yeah. Okay. Alright. 
Let's see what you rent today. Yuri Yummy stares at the poem with surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? <laughs> Miguel, this one might even be better than yesterday. Holy glazing, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I pop my pussy? Yeah, wait. <laughs> Shit. How did you even pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday, I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. <laughs> I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. <laughs> Yummy visibly swallows. Hey, yo! Even her hands appear sweaty. I'm not used to this. Used to what? I don't know. It's fine. Take your time. <laughs> Yummy's breasts. Oh, <laughs> that is her breasts. <laughs> Yummy's breasts and collects her thoughts. I know that Yummy likes to think before she speaks, so I offer that patience to her. Yeah. Just being appreciated like this, I guess. Hmm. Probably sounds really stupid. Damn, she's like my girl for real, for real. <laughs> <laughs> Seems somewhat motivated by my riding. Okay. Just makes me real happy. Are you saying you've never shared your riding before? Give me nods. Really? I don't believe it. I really only ride for myself. And besides, people would just laugh at me. Do you really think that? Again, Yummy nods. Huh. Oh. Even your close friends? Yummy doesn't respond to that. I wonder why. Anyway, do you want to share the poem you wrote today? Yeah. I do. If it's with you. <laughs> Alright, you wanna read it? Damn, cursive? Okay. <laughs> She's really like my girl for a for all. Um, the raccoon happened in the dead of night while sl slicing, Sle <clears throat> sleeping, <clears throat> bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scattering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as, a, as an ordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread. My subconscious, well aware of the consequences, well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. Uh, the enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom, the bread. My hungry curiosity, the raccoon, an urge, the moon and sun, uh, and <clears throat> his face and reflects. Okay, then. <laughs> The much more light off of my cutting knife, the very same light that the <clears throat> glis gl <clears throat> glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread, fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. Uh, or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently. So much bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. <laughs> A rush of blood, classic of pulling condition. I slice bread and I feel myself again. <laughs> okay. Um, I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Dun, dun, dun. Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. Yeah, if I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. 
Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. He's bouncing on my booty cheeks. I love the way he rides. So sort of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? Be because they're embarrassing. People will make fun of me. Don't you have anything like that, Miguel? Well, yeah, I guess I do. I feel like everyone has a little something like that. The best we could do is respect each other and our individualities. Even if it's difficult sometimes and some things make us uncomfortable. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. Hmm. I, I might be ranting a little bit now. Okay, okay. She's spinning. She's spinning. But I'm glad that you're a good listener. You're good at a lot of things. Hey, yo. <laughs> Riding, listening, writing, clapping, <laughs> touching. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> there really aren't that many people like you, Miguel. Yes, sir. I mean, ma'am, <clears throat> that, that's exaggerating a little bit. Oh, dude, did you just identify her as a man? What's wrong with you? Whoa, man. How I feel. I'm, not, I'm I identify as an attack helicopter. Anyways, um, oh hell yeah. <laughs> Never thought I would feel so comfortable sharing my writing. But now, I almost feel like I look forward to it. It's just a really nice feeling. And you're to thank for that. Okay. It's it's nothing really. Yummy smiles. Sincerely, I mean. For just a moment, her timidness seems to disappear. Alright. Uh so you can skip um yeah click monica you can skip like majority of it but uh let's read after she shows us her uh her poem okay yeah so you can read this if you want uh save me the colors they won't stop Bright, beautiful colors, flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue, an endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violence, drifting waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercings, sign, cosign, and Kent. Oh my god, words I've never heard before. Uh, like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a vinyl on a piece of crust, an endless poem of meaningless load me hmm it's even more abstract than your last one huh wait can we skip this or uh no we read this okay haha -ha. i guess it's just the way i write i'm sorry if you don't like it no i never said that it's just kind of Thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of a poem. Mm -hmm. It's almost like magic. Mm. The way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. Haha. <laughs> Okay, demonic ass fucking laugh. <laughs> Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. Okay, okay, I think I know what's gonna happen. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling. Or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Hmm. Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes, you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. <laughs> you could ask me twice. Um, there we go. You never know when you might change your mind. 
Okay, yeah. Uh, or when something unexpected may happen. Wait, is this tip even about riding? That's <laughs> right, you get a little spooked out? <laughs> no. What am I even talking about? <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh. Um, we're all done. Okay, yeah, we're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned for today. So, if everyone could come sit at the front of the room, uh oh, corn. Is this about the festival? <laughs> well, sort of. What are we gonna do? Play Russian roulette? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, oh shit. Ugh. Do we really have to do something for the festival? Okay, blue log the the that dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. <laughs> we'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Okay, okay, okay. We won't need much more than a few decorations. Sayori has been working on posters, and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all. But that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Ah, sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing. P uh, Monica. Yeah, we're going to have a poetry performance. Okay, okay, okay. And this uh Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite the poems too. Hmm. Sayori's putting uh it all on all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Blah, who's been coloring a poster? Hold it up for us to see. Which place I've been calling her by her name and not blah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't. You didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Huh? Well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no not a bad idea but I didn't sign up for this you know there's no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that <laughs> was it getting deeper <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree with Natsuki I can never in my life do something like that imagining it Yummy shakes her head in fear Guys. No, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki... Or, yeah, Natsuki and Yummy have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. Hmm. It is a lot to ask them uh, to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So, I'm sorry. Hmm. But... I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on, put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah. It's about expressing your feelings. Being intimate with yourself. Finding new horizons. And having fun. That's right. And it's for those reasons that we're all in this club today. Okay. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And if it all takes it, uh, it if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Uh, okay, okay. W motivational person. <laughs> Asuki and Yummy remain silent. 
Sayori looks worried. That's not her name. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that and Monica have been trying really hard <laughs> to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... <laughs> it looks like Masuki doesn't have any arguments left. Ooh. Okay, fine. <laughs> Dude, by the end, Sai... Uh, I'm I'm a I'm a hit up slam or why to sign you up for deathcore music. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll just have to get it over with. All right. Phew. Um. Uh oh. Huh? Hi. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yummy? Yummy dejectedly glances around at everyone else. Bent faces. Oh, I, I guess I don't really have a choice. Haha, <laughs> that's everyone. You're the best, Yummy. This, oh, this club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway. Nope, you're not killing them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to hear, what do you, what do you, what is your theory for how this game is going to go south? So, I feel like Monica's poem was a hint that she uh, killed someone. Uh, uh -huh. uh, she killed someone when she was not here. Um, yeah. I feel like she, Monica, might just randomly, <laughs> randomly slice uh, someone's neck. <laughs> okay, okay. So that's what Pretty I think theory. so far. Um, something I haven't told you yet is, uh, can you, uh, <laughs> can you open up your game files? Do you know how to do that? Mm, no. Uh, go to Steam. Like, just like, I'll tap uh, out of the gamer window uh, out. Uh, um, um, oh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Yeah. So, I want you to go to Steam and click on Doki Doki. Uh huh. And I want you to right click it and uh -huh. uh, manage and then browse local files. Uh huh. You click it. Uh huh. Yeah. I want you to bring it up. There you go. So, I want you to just, just, just keep it open. Okay. Randomly throughout the game, uh, <laughs> stuff is gonna appear in there. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, you know, just, yeah. It's yeah. not gonna break my my PC, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's completely safe. Don't worry. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah, um, I'd recommend just like have the folder like on the right, or, oh. or not the right, like on a separate monitor, just so you could see if like anything pops up in there. Cause uh, sometimes like maybe uh, <laughs> pictures will uh, oh okay, pop up in there. some hentai. Okay, okay, okay. Or uh, oh no, not <laughs> oh you wish. Dang it. <laughs> or um like. Uh, nope, like notes, like text. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Also, you might have to restart your screen check because I can't hear the audio. Boy, no way. <laughs> okay. Ding, 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 ding. Um, bada beam, bada boom. What about now? There we go. Okay. All right. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. All right, actually, I think we could skip a little bit of this. Okay. 
<clears throat> Tell me what it's up. Yeah. Dim 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 Hey, almost seven hour stream, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. So yeah, they're all just practicing to recite their poems right <gasps> now. Something's in the file. Uh, Wait, really? Got him. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, I'm not supposed to be in like a folder, right? Just like the overall view? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just okay. the overall thing. But, <laughs> hang on, stop for a second. When I mean this, <laughs> don't... Just don't touch anything in the folders. Why? Just, uh, just leave it be. Trust me. Wait, should I, uh, should I have like a should I have the folder like open? Open? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like have it open, but like just don't like like big. Obviously, just don't like delete anything. Obviously. Oh. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, I'll have it big then. So I can see. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, dude. When games do like weird shit like that, it's kind of creepy. <laughs> oh yeah. Like, have you seen, um, uh, I think there's, like, creepy pasta games that, like, take yeah. over your PC. Yep. Yeah, those are creepy. You're gonna see a lot of creepy pictures pop up in your, uh, folder. Okay. And, the uh, like, I texts. And that shouldn't, like, open the picture, right? No, no, no. When you do open it, oh. just don't, like, yeah, yeah, just don't touch anything else. Oh, okay. Uh, you could uh, keep skipping here. Okay. Oh, I'll, <laughs> uh, scroll. I think. Try scrolling. Uh -huh. Anything. Nothing's working. Okay. Well, it, it, you picked the right choice, so it's fine. <laughs> uh, she was, yeah, she was basically asking like, um, <laughs> out of all the girls, who would you want to walk home with? And oh. you chose walking home with Yummy. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Try to have your mouse like <laughs> around the bottom area, so whenever you, a choice does pop up, you don't like accidentally click it. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'll be in the bush. Uh, skip. Yeah. And I need all in. Yeah, basically, uh, Abudra is like your wingman, I guess. Oh. All right, here we go. Uh, dark. Uh, wrath. Philosophy, Essence, Vertigo, Crimson, Fantasy, oh. Vitality, Variance, um, Judgment, Melancholy, Charlie. Sorry, Melon Charlie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, secretive. Anxiety. Or actually, no. Uh, infinite. Or horror. Um, imagination. Um, disown. Damn, damn, damn. Damn, 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 damn. What? Existence. Oh. Oh, this shit is here right now. Yeah, fear. Dim, 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 dim. Oh. Uh oh. Um, massacre. Um, intellectual. And melody. Oh. Fuck. Ah, that's fine. All right. Same thing. You could just skip most of this. Dim, dim. Dim 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 Look at what I twerked to this song. Boy what? Okay. Yeah, I'd I'd throw my shit so far back to this like Oh god. 
up, 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 up. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh. Yo, she's going crazy. <laughs> Dude, this is like a month from now if we did everything. <laughs> Dude, holy shit, this would actually take it. Thank God we're skipping it because <laughs> you definitely get for it. Okay, uh, just like slowly skim through it a bit. Okay, you're just sharing your poems now. Uh, same thing, just show everyone, but uh, make sure you show Monica last. Okay. You just... Er... <laughs> okay. Uh, so, to sum that up, um, basically... Sayori, or basically just said that, you know, she's feeling tired. She doesn't feel well, so she's mm -hmm. going to go home early. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Uh, we could skip through yummies if you want. Yeah. Uh, her being nervous, generally happy, she boy. Uh, obsessive with me. Okay, okay. Fall in love? What? <laughs> huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, you know the video we watched of um, the guy doing the FNAF theory? Matt uh -huh. Pat? Yeah. He has one for uh, Doki Doki. Oh. Ah. Yeah, or like explaining bits and pieces of the lore for this game. Oh. And it's pretty fucking creepy if I'm being honest. Oh, really? Yeah. What is it, like an hour long? It. Uh, it's like separate videos that are like 12 minutes long, maybe. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. Probably find a whole playlist of it. <laughs> All right. Uh, skip Monica's till um, after her. Home. Oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> a lady who knows everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders oh, earth. You don't, you don't have to read her poem. <laughs> a lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady. <laughs> That's fun. I search a little hope. Until one day the wind kisses. I look at her eyes and find an no end. Oh, she. Damn, dude. That's, that's so good. <laughs> Alright. You know. I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sort of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about it. I see. I never really put much though into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. I think it was. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Hmm. Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know better than anyone. Oh, she's dissing me. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> one-dimensional. Uh, so uh, it's probably a good time to mention this. Um, so obviously, since you went with uh, the path of Yummy uh -huh. and not Natsuki, I guess I'll just tell you about her. I guess um, if you chose Nats Natsuki, then you would have read manga with her because she likes to read manga mm -hmm. and <laughs> figure out that her dad abuses her. Oh damn! Anyways, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just thought I'd, you know, put that out there. Wait, which was that one again? What's up? Which was that one again? Um, the little chick with the pink hair. Oh. It's all, like, cutesy and shit. Damn, no wonder she's a bitch. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> anyways. Ah, uh, yeah. That. All jokes. <laughs> uh. <laughs> anyway. 
Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? Abusive how? Essay or physically abusive? Uh, physically oh. and mentally. Oh, okay. Yeah. It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of telling you uh, what you're writing is good or okay or bad, you'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way, and it'll make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? Mm. That's my advice for today. Uh, okay. Thanks for listening. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second. Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? Eh? Uh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. We de deviated from a usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Catchphrase? Hmm. I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Ooh. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Mm -hmm. In your books, maybe? Oh, uh, look, look, the only <laughs> thing different is that Sayura isn't here. Hmm, maybe we're schizo? This is all in our head? <laughs> I love hearing you say all these theories. <laughs> uh, seems you're right. Because I'm not gonna look, I, I, I've seen a lot of disturbing stuff, so it's gonna be kind of interesting um, what type of disturbing this is, because... <sighs> I'm just letting you know, it is not what you think it is. Okay. You are, you will not expect it. Okay, okay, okay. It seems you're a rat. Uh, Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not, not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she went to pee. Uh oh. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, oh. Ah, she actually wasn't feeling too well. I went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Dude, tell me how your voice is gonna be like tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna wake up. Yo, what's up, dude? <laughs> Next thing you know, you're fucking girls all over you. <laughs> uh. All the time, Sanako, home with her. You pick the time she's not feeling well. So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding. My friendship was blue. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Hey, yo, force Riz? Ooh. <laughs> That's curious. That curious expression coming from Yomi of all people. Calm down, guys. No. Uh -oh. <laughs> Just. <laughs> 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 I talked to her earlier, and everything is fine. What did she say? <laughs> anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations. So. <laughs> Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. Damn, dude. Her papa's giving her the one to- <laughs> I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. This one? <laughs> <laughs> but we might need a lot of them. And different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. 
And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayori will be helping me design them. And as for Yummy, mm -hmm. Yummy, you can... Uh, um... Guys? Can you help me come up with something for Yummy? <laughs> okay. Uh... I'm useless. N no That's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. Okay. N no, Natsu Natsuki's pouting too? Jeez. Jeez. Oh. Even I can tell now. I guess I never gave enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Ah. That may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. <clears throat> so, yummy? You have beautiful handwriting, you know? Okay, okay, okay. So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Uh, about that. Ah. Uh, I love atmosphere. <laughs> Yummy's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk and focuses and start, starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yummy. But anyway, that just leaves you, Miguel. Oh, the one, the one who is oh. truly useless. <laughs> Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yummy have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. Huh? It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. Uh, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? <laughs> I'll say you less. How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh... I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Baby, you're already default. <laughs> <laughs> well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give you. <laughs> oh, man, that's a child. <laughs> it's not like Monica's going to give me a choice. and You shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Oh, hell no. Nasuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. <laughs> um... If I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle that bacon on your own. Hmm. Miguel may not like to be around if you only make him out of a, nu a nuisance. So therefore, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> he may be more suited to assist him with decorations. Yeah. Hold on, I never said that. Oh, she want me for real, for real. <laughs> <laughs> How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like just making excuses for Miguel to... W what are you saying? <laughs> it will be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't... Hey, come... <laughs> hey, come on. Hey, come on, that's, that's easy for a... <clears throat> <laughs> woman. <laughs> Just what do you think? <laughs> jokes. Guys, guys. Just jokes. Relax. <laughs> Whoever <laughs> sees us. Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Miguel to decide how he'd like to con uh, contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? <laughs> so I'm sure he's interested in... I mean, we're close. Second choice. Second choice. You literally just said. I I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Miguel, you're okay with this, right? Of course. In the end, it's up to you. Ah. Of course. <laughs> Very well. In that case, 
Everyone looks straight at me. Okay, so... <laughs> if you say Sayori, then everyone will get pissed at you, and you'll have to repick. <laughs> if you pick Monica, uh, Yummy and Natsuki will get pissed at you, and you'll have to pick again. <laughs> so, it's between Yummy and Natsuki. Damn, this is a hard-ass choice. <laughs> well, I should also mention that, like, you basically have no time to, like, you, you it's impossible to riz up Monica, because, uh, in the character's eyes, she's too good for you. <laughs> or, not, not too good for you, but, like, she's, like, you know, like, <laughs> he doesn't have any hope in it, so, okay. any, any time you are given the chance to try and riz her up, it will always fail. Hey, W wingman. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. you can, you can, uh, you can skip now, if you want. Uh, time for Roger Roger. Are you serious? <laughs> what would you? I can already tell. No, 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 no. I was just saying. No, 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 Have you ever met a girl and she was a, sh uh, a shit back to you? But she was a shit back because she was into you? What's a shit back? Uh, mm, like a girl. Hmm. Like a girl that kind of annoys you, essentially shows that type of energy. Oh. Uh, like, uh, yeah, I guess like that. Uh, or like, this is you and all that, but she's actually into you. Not that I know of, no. Okay. Yeah, because for me, there was this one girl, she was like that uh, at the end, she was into me. I was like, bro, what? what? Why you act <laughs> like that then? Yeah. Like, Jesus Christ. That's what uh, pink hair girl is like. Yeah. So basically what we're skipping over, um, you give Yummy your number, Ooh. and over the weekend she comes over to your house, Ooh. so you guys can work on the decorations. I better go down! <laughs> I'm to play some fucking Daniel Caesar, some fucking James Rickery, some... <laughs> my peach emoji playlist. Let's go. Oh shit. <laughs> And at this point is where I would have given up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thankfully, you got me though. <laughs> All right. Now. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. You can uh, like skim through a little bit. I'm not gonna do this when there's no one who are outside of school more than that she's only to look forward to. I don't know if between us or is it easy for or at least for the only time will tell until then I won't be able to mind off it. I seriously can't wait. Okay, okay, okay. I'm a little nervous. Okay. <laughs> it's already Sunday. I've been great. Uh, uh, skim through it? Um, no. Oh, read it? Okay. Yeah. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yumi's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yumi is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt she'll open up a little bit when she when it's just the two of us. Just the two of us. Dun, dun. You know what, we've been uh, texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first. It wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yummy aside, I haven't heard a thing about Bura since she left club early the other day. Damn, she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Papa gave her the one two a little too hard, and now Papa's no, wrong girl, wrong girl. Oh, <clears throat> the, like the, <laughs> the the pink haired girl that looks like a child. Oh, that's the girl that gets abused by her father. Oh, uh, it's not like we text each other. Uh, all the time or anything, but I've been. Has worried. anything uh, has anything popped up in your folders yet? Nope. All right. There's something that says "read me," but that's been there for a while. Um. Open it. N let me hold up. Um. I mean, there is a file saying "read me." Only no, is... you don't have to. Okay. Fucking virus. Oh god. <laughs> but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Is there supposed to be something popping up? 
Uh, no. Okay. Not that I know of yet. Between what Blah said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Blah feelings aside when she might need me? Man, yeah, fuck that. I decided to visit Blah before Yummy comes over. Why? Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Boy, she's like a um the chick that I uh I used to walk home, right? Yeah. Ah. Once I reach Blah house i knock on the door before entering it's myself she hung herself again we used to play so often that we've made a habit of simply entering each other's house like we were family uh, oh <laughs> it's about to go down the house is quiet there isn't anywhere on the first floor so i assume she's up in her room <laughs> it's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom where I finally found her. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Belula. Oh, I'm a girl. You're alive. Okay. <laughs> I sit down in her room. Dude, I honestly thought she was about to hung, hang herself or something. <laughs> and nah, nah. We're chilling. The game isn't that fucked up. Oh. Right? Is it? I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, <laughs> uh, forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Ah, uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Blah. Room is messy, has it always been? I also recognized the same stuffed animals and wall decoration that she had for years. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. I'm not gonna lie, this artwork is, uh, is fire. It's yeah. just HD as fuck. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to meet Yummy today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? I don't know, has already left by the time we decided the last meeting. Monica told me. Hmm. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, uh, so it's just me and Yummy then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Plus, there's in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing after you left on Friday. When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well, so. Smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Miguel. Huh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. Oh, uh, oh you. Uh, oh. Yeah. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake. Uh oh. Then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't ever been. You would have even been thinking about me right now. Hmm. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Blah. I grab Blah by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Oh, until I know, I won't be able to, to stop thinking about it. Ah. <laughs> Gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Miguel. But 
You're wrong. Nothing happened to me. Hmm. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, blah? Hmm. <laughs> Bipolar. You're really just gonna make me say it, aren't you, Miguel? Oh, she loves me. <laughs> I guess I have no choice this time. Okay. The thing is... You're a boy. Oh, no. <laughs> I've had really bad depression my whole life. Oh, never mind. <laughs> did you know that? Uh, some basic shit. <laughs> Why did you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Oh my god, so my theory of her uh, 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 seeing her sudoku herself is uh, factual. <laughs> <laughs> Why go to school? Why eat? Oh yeah. Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that she kept this from me the, the entire time that I've known her? Does she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, blah? Eh? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It's almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Damn, I really don't pay attention. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I can do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. Mm, take the initiative, buddy. You don't understand at all, Miguel. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Hmm. No pity party. Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. Hmm. I don't want to be cared about. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yo, get the medicine now. Oh my god. That's like a different <laughs> level. <laughs> yeah. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes. Hmm. But it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. New theory. She's a psychopath. She's gonna kill okay. everyone. <laughs> uh -huh. That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. I'm not gonna lie, this kind of feels like a show now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're right. That I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all. But, but I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me, whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Miguel. There's nothing. Nothing at all. Fuck! I shouldn't. I shouldn't name my 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 character Bean. <laughs> the only thing, or a, hey. <laughs> the only. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that could have helped is if everyone could be like it always was. Is there a way to change my name? I, I want to change no, it to Bean so no, hard. No, there isn't. <laughs> oh my god. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Hmm. Tears. Streak down blah face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in that way, and I couldn't understand. And now you came here, and I made you hurt, too. Hmm. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. 
And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Have you ever met someone like this? Yeah, I have a friend like this. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I've dated a girl like this, and oh, that's a. Yeah. That's a lot to a, deal with. <laughs> yeah. Without thinking, I once again grab Blah's shoulders. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. Uh, uh Miguel. Blah. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, that's just a bonus. But please, never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, hold up, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, Miguel. your part. <laughs> Bula is in hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Bula arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Miguel. I. Bula barely managed to speak. Between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing this right. But all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make things, <clears throat> I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god. Dude, have you ever seen Goodwill Hunting with Robin Williams and uh, another actor? Uh, I've heard of it. I haven't watched it. Oh, damn it. I was going to say this one scene is like literally this. I'll show you later. Uh, okay. Gently blah finally puts her arms around me oh, and returns. <laughs> oh. I don't know anything. It's always really scary. Okay, W pro. pro <clears throat> I don't understand any of my feelings, Miguel. W progress, man. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. Hmm. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary, too. Oh, yeah. She's going to be obsessive. <laughs> oh, God. Just how I like them. <laughs> <laughs> no cap. Uh, let's me go. <laughs> as she does, so I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be it's fun, be right? Fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How would you like... For me to spend it all with you. Oh, buddy. Okay, W cheating, man. Okay. Um. Uh. It's what I want. I promise. I. I think that would be nice. Oh. Okay. 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 In this situation, let's see if this is real. I'm not gonna lie. I I would pick. I would pick this chick. Yeah. The other one is just to get my blue up. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it wipes her eyes out. Her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. But maybe pop in some medicine. Because, yeah, that's a little too much. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Ooh. Yeah, no, this game literally warns you, like, beforehand to make sure you're not, like... <laughs> Depressed or like going through any mental health issues. Oh, okay. Maybe yeah. I should cancel. No, don't. Please, don't. If you did that, then I would then I really wouldn't forgive you. Hmm. But it's almost time for Yummy to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? 
<laughs> okay, okay. Fantasy three so it would be fun. <laughs> to my surprise. Ugh, shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be a very good for me today. You understand, right? Yes, ma'am. Ah. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand. <sighs> I've tried my hardest. <clears throat> it's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. Look forward to it. Oh my god. I was like a novella. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. We say goodbye to Blois and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. It's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yummy is about to come over to. Okay. Priorities. <laughs> I think Blah is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. All right. Um, you can skip if you want here. What is this? The date? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's pretty boring, but there's like one main event that happens here that I could tell you right now if you want. Uh, okay. So, um, Yummy asks for a glass of water mm -hmm. and, uh, when you go to get it and you come back, <laughs> you see her checking your drawers and shit, and she finds your uh, <laughs> porn magazines. Hey, let's go. And there's also another instance where you catch her cutting herself. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you figure out that she has a huge knife kink. Like, Wait, this girl right here? Yeah. <laughs> okay, but... Uh... She has like she collects knives and okay. she likes to cut her arm that's with cool. them i don't I mean, know no, if i can say cool. this on twitch that's not cool <laughs> uh yeah just keep skipping till um make sure the mouse is over here in the corner just in case yeah make sure just keep skipping till you get uh till it's outside again like okay. the background is it gonna show what oh no 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 oh. Oh, there it is. She stares noticeably. Warm could please. I wasn't there. Her, her face burning up. Okay. Yeah, I'm just letting you know now. I would okay. I would say this game is scary. You mm -hmm. just have to like look at it at a perspective of like like it's not the type of scary where there's like jump scares and shit like that that would like make you like oh shit like that it's just like you read it and like you're like holy shit that's fucking scary you know mm. what i mean okay. kind of like just psychologically fucking your head okay okay that's like the best horror for me yeah okay okay talking about decoration how far are we into the game right now? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, we're, uh... <laughs> oh, shit. Whoa, this is like a wallpaper. Uh, I'm just I'm just not gonna say anything. I'll... Okay. I'll let it... Just... I'll let the game do its thing. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. You said the DLC is what? Soundtracks? Huh? The DLC? There is no DLC. What? The one oh, for... oh, for for this? Uh, -huh. uh, I think so. Yeah. You said it's just what? Uh, soundtrack? Music? I think. Um. Uh -huh. th this version you have, or what the hell is this? What? Yeah, it comes with all of the high quality tracks, remixes, bonus tracks, wallpapers, and a a, a digital booklet. Hmm. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> here we go. Alright, be huh? from here. Once Yomi packs up, I'll walk her out the front door. Thanks very much for having me today. No problem. I'll, I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need to you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. 
Well then. Kill me, fidgets. <laughs> uh, 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 snaps his chest. I guess. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. I kind of say that without thinking. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm a little, a little desperate. Okay. <laughs> About today. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted. Because we can do this again. Okay. Whenever you want. You can come over. Or we can go out somewhere. Okay, Mr. Rizzler. Uh, <laughs> I forgot you don't like going out much. As I stumble over my words, Yummy simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so... You're very thoughtful, Miguel. Yummy takes a step closer to me and briefly squeezes my hand. I kind of like that about you. Oh. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? I don't even get a chance to as Yummy suddenly pulls back. Oh. Sayori. Huh? Oh my uh, god. Fucking dick blocker. <laughs> uh, hi, Miguel. Okay. <laughs> Blah. Just now. We weren't. <laughs> it's okay, Miguel. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, um. Well, it's nice to see you. Sorry, but I'm I'm already on my way to leave. Oh my god. Oh really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. But we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow. So. Okay. So that's fine, right? Of course. Pull out beams. Yeah, so... Wait, th this this was the chick that we were talking with earlier, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, the depressed one. Oh, okay. I'll see you tomorrow. But that was the other chick. Nah. Literally embarrassed, Yummy hurries off. Blah, waves goodbye after her. Blah. I thought you didn't want to come over today. Ah, uh, well. Okay, I'm changing her. Okay. W <laughs> mental health. Uh, uh. <clears throat> I tried staying in my room. Fixer. But my imagination was really mean to me. So I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know. How much fun you were having with Yuri. Or mm. Yummy. How close you got to her. Mm. Makes me really happy. That you've made such good friends. Ooh. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down. Blah. Face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Miguel? Aww. I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? Mm -mm -mm. It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Oh my god. <laughs> Blah, don't say that. I'm not gonna lie, before, before the part where she was like, uh, something about it was so much better, I'd probably go for the kiss. It, so, you know. Yeah. It seems like that. Right moment. It's true, Miguel. If I wasn't here, then you would have had you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. Oh God! You wouldn't have to put me with being put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just. Oh, uh, Monica! Monica was right about what? <laughs> uh oh. Blah. What he said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Oh, so she's the one that's gonna commit Sudoku. And then Monica's peer pressuring her. Okay. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. <clears throat> it's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel 
any more pain. So, just gonna let you know now. This is where you will start to understand nothing. Oh. This is where... <laughs> this is where the game truly begins. Okay. But... Blah but... looks away. Put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Mikkel. I'm really scared. To see if my emotional intelligence is good or not. <laughs> If, it, if it's like improved so much more, what are you scared of? Blah. I'm scared that that I might like you more than you like me. Blah. It's true, isn't it? I was weak and I started to like you too much. Hmm. I did this to myself, Miguel. I like you so much that I want to die. Okay. That's how I feel. And, and... That's enough blah. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down blah arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said, I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Or Leslie blah nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now, and that's what I'm going to give you. Uh, is this an important choice, or can I just pick? I'm not gonna say. Hmm. <laughs> You'll always be my dearest friend. You know what? Man. Mommy Milkers was nice and <laughs> one Mommy Milkers is cool. Two This girl is too much to handle, I'm not gonna lie. Even nowadays for me I'm like, uh <clears throat> your choice. Damn it. Any mini money milk, catch a tiger by his stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I kinda want <laughs> oh my god. Both of, both, of, both of these options seem interesting. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Don't want to deal with your bullshit. <laughs> You'll always be my dearest friend. Let's save it just to make sure I won't go back. <laughs> <laughs> what would you need most is for things to be uh, like they've always been. Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happier you seem after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now, but please trust me that I know what's best and what will make you happy in the end. I promise I'll, he I'll help get things back to the way they were. Oh, okay, okay. I I see. Blah forces a smile through an incredible, incredibly pained expression. <laughs> Is this what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest? <laughs> oh my god, so dramatic. <laughs> I should write a poem about this. Blah? It's okay. This is just my punishment, remember? Oh my god. <laughs> For being so selfish. So, please. Please don't worry about these stupid feelings. Oh my god, blah. I'm in my fuckboy vibes. Come on, man. I know you're right. I knew this whole time that there's no happiness down that path. That's why I came here. Just so I could get the answer I needed to hear. Hmm. And the other thing. Uh oh. I, you're also right that I just wanted to go back to the way it was. I realize that now. You really do know me better than anyone, Miguel. I'll trust you with anything. Anything at all. So... The smile finally breaks. All of, the, all of a sudden, she turns around and drops to her knees. <gasps> <sighs> uh, <gasps> oh, Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> uh, she 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 grabbed a, a samurai out of her back pocket and Sudoku herself. Touching her head with both hands, she screams as loud as she can. Oh, that's more than depression. I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. Blue looks over her shoulder and flashes me one more weak smile before turning around and running off. Blah. I'm left hopelessly standing in front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? There's nothing more than that, that I could have done. The most I can do is support Blah in her feelings and help her on the path. That's right. I'm having as much trouble understanding Blah feeling as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these things, these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. I'm going to give it everything I've got. The blah will always be my dearest friend. And I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. Wow. Yeah, that's definitely uh more more than that <laughs> more than uh just depression in my yeah. view it's the day of the festival of all days i expected this to be the one where i'd be walking to school with blah but blah isn't answering her phone oh yeah she's gone <laughs> <laughs> i considered going to her house to wake her up but decided that's a little too much meanwhile the preparation for the event should be nearly complete the banner blah and I painted it as dry. I gently, gently rolled it up to take with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything I reassured her. But funnily enough, I probably feel the same as Mbla uh, about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Mbla and Yummy at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Miguel, you're the first one here. Thanks for being early. Um, I don't know if what? this I don't know if this was here earlier, but I think something said uh uh titled "Happy Thoughts." <laughs> uh, should I open it? <laughs> yeah, just open it on. Uh, what is it? Is it like a Wow, a photo or? that is like a yeah. It's a, it's a PNG. That is like um yeah. a crazy, crazy, crazy uh drawing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's kind of creepy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this do you is know? where the game takes a completely different turn. Wait, do you know? Do you know what picture I'm looking at? Yeah, it it showed on stream. Oh. <laughs> okay. No, that's that, that, kind of creepy. Yeah. Anyways, back to it. <laughs> All right. That's funny. I thought at least Yummy would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. That must be the one she prepared to have all the poems were performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You think that one days you think that on days that this is important should try a little harder. I say that but I suddenly remember when Blah told me yesterday. And I suddenly feel awful knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. <laughs> you should take a little responsibility for her, Miguel. Oh, man. I'm not a fucking father. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. <laughs> Damn, gossip. <laughs> Kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. 
I'm the club president, after all. Okay, dude. What? I stammer embarrassed. Did Bla really tell her about it that quickly? About how I basically turned down her confession? That makes me really seem like a bad guy here. But I'm the one who knows what's best for her, right? Jeez, you don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Hmm. Huh? Monica's being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desk. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flip through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on, on its own, giving it an, an almost professional feel. I recognize blood and blood poems from the ones they performed during our practice. Not their names. <laughs> What's this? I flip to blood poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. Uh, who's this? <laughs> uh, but a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Oh, oh shit! Get out of my head before I do. Before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she says. Schizo. Okay, she said to me, "Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you." Oh God. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. Uh, what is that? This? Was uh, that was Sayori's or Bella's? Oh, who's that? <laughs> the the press check. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, she's gonna kill me. <laughs> Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Miguel, what's wrong? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Hell no. I'm bringing that up. Fuck that. <laughs> this poem feels completely different from everything else blah written. But more than that, I I changed my mind. I'm going to get blah, so. Ah. Uh, Here we go. Well, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Blah is going to be at the end of the hallway with my with Yummy's head and blood <laughs> on the floor. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls that out after me. I quicken up my pace. Oh, what was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Blah. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs and what I want to give her. <laughs> yeah. I reach Blood House and knock on her door. <sighs> Rest in peace, Yummy. I already feel it. I didn't expect an answer since she's not picking her phone. Like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. No oh good. Blah? She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. Isn't that more like something a boyfriend would do? In any case, she just feels right. Outside Blood room, I knock on her door. Blah? Wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to enter a room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Oh my god! <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Here we fucking go. I knew it. I knew it. 
trace back. What is trace back? <laughs> and you see it in the files? Yeah. Why don't you go on and open it? Ooh. It, it's just gonna be like, you know, text. Now, um, hang on. Uh, all the way at the bottom, you'll see uh, text that person wrote. Okay, restart top context. Oh, geez, I didn't break anything, did I? Hold on a second. I can probably fix this. I think. Actually, you know what? This would probably be a lot easier if I just deleted her. She's the one who's making this so difficult. <laughs> well, here goes nothing. Now, I want you to close out of that. And in the game files, you should see a character's file, right? Uh-huh. Click that. Uh-huh. should notice that. Oh, she's so gone? Miss. She's gone. Uh -huh. <laughs> what if I just... And uh -huh. I don't... I don't know if you noticed this, but when you were talking with uh, Monica, uh -huh. um, she specifically says, wow, you really left her hanging, did you? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's get back to the game. <laughs> because this is where... Oh god. Wait, I should go back to the overall view, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. This soundtrack is so good. This is creepy. Yeah. What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? Dude, I called it, huh? <laughs> I told you. <laughs> yeah. She was gonna be hanging. It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Blah. Wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. Okay. Oh yeah, um, I'll just let you know now, even if you chose to be her boyfriend and say you love her, the outcome is still the same. Really? Yeah. Oh, thank god I stick to my guns. Thank god I was in the zip. That's why <laughs> I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. Yo, dude, that honestly fucking scared me. <laughs> yep. I don't know if I could post that anywhere. <laughs> oh, no, th there's multiple YouTubers who have played it while streaming and posted it on YouTube. It's not like a, on TikTok and... Well, especially on oh, TikTok. Oh, oh. Yeah, probably not TikTok. Yeah. I suppress suppressed the urge to vomit just yesterday. I told Blah I would be there for her. And you know, always look at the positives. Now I don't have to say Blah anymore. <laughs> Anyways, I told her <laughs> I told her I know what's best That everything will be okay Then why? Why would she do this? How could it be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Turning down her confession Would this be the same dialogue? As no, huh? Yeah Oh, it would? Mm-hmm Oh it ha This has to be this has to have been what pushed her over the edge. Her agonized scream still echoes in my ears. Dude, you know how fucking terrifying that is if that if that happened yeah. in real life? Oh my god. Yeah. Just wait, because all those theories you made of, you know, one of them being a psycho killer, all that shit, all of those are about to be proven false, because... <laughs> Or just just play cause uh oh why did I do that to her when she needed me the most whoa man that's her actions <laughs> whoa is this so selfish whoa man can't be with someone <laughs> for pity come on man that's not real love this is my fault goofy all my swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this if I just spent more time with her Walked her to school and gave her what I know she wanted out of our relationship. Then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever. Did you pull up the? 
Should I pull up the clip? <laughs> no, 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 no. Just, just, just play. Trust me. <laughs> okay. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do. Bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. Whoa, man! I, I resaved. <laughs> I had only one chance, and I wasn't careful enough. And now, I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But, I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now, I can never take it back. Never. 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 Error. Error. 101. 101. 101. 101, 101. Hey, W Games, man. W Games. <laughs> oh, that is actual W Games. Till next time. Bye. <laughs> Yo, it's not over. <laughs> Yo, oh, look at that. Oh, shit. I just saw that right now. The glitchy? What's that? What's that? What's that weird button that's supposed to say new game? <sighs> you should. You should probably click it. I mean, you know, it, it looks like we ended the game, so... Oh, oh, no. no. Alright, I started a new recording, so... <laughs> oh, God. You hear the music, how it's getting all distorted? Oh, God. So, now I should uh, explain a little bit. Obviously, as you saw from the traceback text in your folder... Mm -hmm. somebody's fucking with the game okay. somebody is aware that you know they are currently in a simulation and they're trying to fuck with it and they tried solving that by getting rid of sayori's character in the files mm -hmm. and that resulted in the game fully breaking down mm -hmm. and now that since you just restarted all of it the game is attempting to run without Sayori, who is a main crucial character, and the game isn't programmed to run without Sayori. Mm -hmm. So it's just that's why all the text is like fucking up, and anytime her name is mentioned, it's just random text. Oh, okay. So, yeah, go ahead. So that's what traceback uh, is? Yep. Oh, okay. I see an annoying girl running towards me from distance. Sayori. Is uh Makasi Mac Mac <clears throat> I see an annoying <laughs> Must it's uh Fuck what's her name? Ma Ma Mac Ma the girl from Monica? Attack on Titan. <laughs> oh Mikasa? Mikasa is from Attack on Titan. Now it's uh it's the uh the girl that I can't uh a uh, Riz up. I feel like it's definitely her. I see an annoying okay. girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, that's actually a W fucking plot. <laughs> that girl is E underscore blah, 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 my neighbor and a good friend since... Oh, wow. You know, the kind of friend... Yeah, you're, you remember all this when we first started, right? Yeah, yeah. Exactly started like this. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. <sighs> we used to walk to school together on days like this. Uh, uh, starting around high school, she would uh, oversleep more and more frequently and I would get tired of waiting up. But she's going to chase after me like this. I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let catch up to me. Oh my god. Hey, 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 hey. Oh man, don't break my PC now. <laughs> Here we go, we're restarting a third time. Oh god. Oh wait, uh, is the text different? Or can it just like, yep. fast forward? Yep. yep, someone recoded the game to run without Sayori. And now it's completely different. So oh. now that, you know, you originally walked to school with Sayori. Now the main character saying completely different lines saying he's oh. walked to school alone. Never had a best friend. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. <laughs> I have no motivation to join any clubs. 
I'm perfectly content just getting by on average uh, while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always an anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. The school is an o as ordinary as ever. It's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs? There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. Guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Miguel? <gasps> oh no. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Monica. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hey. <laughs> oh my goodness. I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Ah. Yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. Taking her advice? <laughs> <clears throat> hey! <laughs> <laughs> Taking her advice, making sure to save. Yep. Oh my god, that's fucking creepy as fuck. <laughs> Where's my file? <laughs> Is there anything in there? Uh, copyright, happy thoughts, log. No. Okay. Wait, what's the LIP? Re Ren P? Uh, that might just be a, one of the files for the game. Oh, okay. Also, you know how I said earlier that, just a cool fact, you know how I said earlier to not touch anything in the folder other than the stuff that pops up? Mm -hmm. That's because if you try, if you go to the character file specifically and try deleting one of the files for the characters, mm -hmm. then the whole game will fuck up, just like it did with Sayori. Oh. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I was about to say, uh, what if I just delete everyone right now? <laughs> Yeah, I would. I wouldn't recommend that. Okay. <coughs> we're gonna we're gonna go for the secret ending. Okay. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me is so genuinely feels a little. What did you come here for, anyways? Oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you should check the closet here in the debate club, right? Uh, about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Oh. Feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. Oh, I remember this. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. A literature club. Literature? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? So, yeah, obviously, since, you know, it, the game is running without Sayori, the game is officially programmed to run with Sayori, so... There is still going to be some uh, issues here and there, just like those jitters mm -hmm. and uh, characters just glitching out of nowhere and uh, yeah, some other stuff, which I won't okay, say. Okay, okay, but, okay, okay. Um... Oh, <laughs> I thought you were saying that in real life. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. Oh. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Oh, I can see that. It's really not boring at all, you know? Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Mm hmm. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature, too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. 
And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hey, Miguel. That's my mama. <laughs> By any chance, are you looking for a club to join? Ah. I mean, I guess so, but... In that case... Is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but... If you could at least visit the club, it would make me really happy. Please? Um... I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure. I guess I could check it out. Uh, awesome. You're really sweet, Miguel, you know that? It, it's nothing, really. Shall we go, then? <laughs> I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. <laughs> oh, glazing. And thus, <laughs> today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. What the fuck? I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Oh, God. I'm back. Yep. Locked in her for sure. And I brought a guest with me. Oh, no. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. A guest? What is your <laughs> girl one? Uh oh. Let's see anything new? Anything new? No. Hey, uh, <laughs> y'all know something cool? What? Look at the back of the room. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That is crazy, dude. <laughs> dude, yep. oh my god, you should have told me that this was like more of a... Okay, okay, okay. I, I did. I mean, what can I say? I didn't want to spoil it. Okay, no, that's true, that's true. Okay. <laughs> Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. Oh, please don't kill Yummy. Anyone but Yummy. <laughs> But anyway, welcome to the club, Miguel. Oh, words escape me in this situation. Dude, that's crazy because I didn't even notice it. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> I like completely, like, I remembered, like, when we started, I was like, yeah, when we get to that part, I should, like, look for it to bring it up. <laughs> and then I completely forgot. And then <laughs> as I was just looking, I, like, saw it in the back. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> it, it, it changes back to normal, by the way. This is probably, like, the only time you'll see it. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe this... like a couple more times, but yeah. Okay. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. So let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Uh, anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. Oh. Or Yummy. Yeah, I remember the vice president usually was uh, Sayori. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you. Yummy, who appears comparatively more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time. Keeping up with someone like Nasuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So I ran into Miguel in a classroom and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica. Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to, well, you know. Also, by the way, Happy Thoughts was, uh, uh, blah, right? That was her drawing? Yeah. Oh. Let me say it one more time. Dim, dim. That drawing is supposed to be, um, Sayori. Oh. You can tell from the red bow tie. Uh huh. 
sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least show some, make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Miguel? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yummy walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Nasuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here. But we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As vice president of the, or as president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there are more people in the club yet. Oh, I see your face. <laughs> it must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all their effort to some start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince. Oh. <laughs> but to make school events like the festival that much more important. <laughs> Confident that we can all really grow as a club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. Yummy returns to the table, carrying a tea set. He carefully places the teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I... Uh, I... I guess. Hey, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yummy's just trying to impress you. Uh, uh, that's not. <laughs> Insulted, Yomi looks away. I meant that, you know. Believe you? Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yomi faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Miguel, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Masuki head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yumi's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yummy? Well, let's see. Yummy traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. We can we can skip this part. We already know what she likes. <laughs> I was about to say like it's already almost three. It's already three a.m. <laughs> yeah. Is this like a good place to stop? Um... Or should we do a little bit more? Up to you. Um... You just get out of this classroom, I guess. There you go. Bum, 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 bum. Do you know more games like this? No, I don't. Oh. I mean, we... There is the fucking, uh... The Danganronpa game I told you about. That one's... So good. I think you'd like that a lot. Uh -huh. But it's more of like murder mystery. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Well, that was creepy. <laughs> yep. Bye.